According to Christian tradition, on April 3 in the year 33 AD, Jesus Christ was crucified. Jesus was a religious leader who lived in the region of Palestine during the Roman Empire. He gained a large following for his teachings and was seen by many as the Messiah, or Savior, prophesied in the Jewish scriptures. However, his teachings and popularity also attracted the attention of the Roman authorities who saw him as a threat to their rule. Jesus was eventually arrested, tried, and sentenced to death by crucifixion, which was a common method of execution at the time. Christians believe that Jesus died on the cross as a sacrifice for the sins of humanity and that his resurrection three days later proved his divine nature and offered the possibility of eternal life to all who believe in him. In 1043, Edward the Confessor was crowned as the King of England. Edward was the son of King Ethelred the Unready and the half-brother of the previous king, Harthacnut. Edward's reign was marked by a significant rebuilding of churches and monasteries, and he was known for his piety and devotion to Christianity. He also worked to establish closer ties with the powerful Norman Dukes of Normandy, which would have far-reaching consequences for England in the years to come. Edward did not have any children, and his death in 1066 led to a succession crisis and ultimately to the Norman conquest of England. Nevertheless, Edward's reign is remembered as a time of relative peace and prosperity, and he was later canonized as a saint in the Catholic Church. In 1860, the Pony Express began its first successful run from St. Joseph, Missouri to Sacramento, California. The Pony Express was a mail delivery service that operated for only 18 months, but it became an iconic symbol of the American West. The service used a network of relay stations where riders would exchange horses and mailbags, allowing them to cover the distance of nearly 2,000 miles in about 10 days. The Pony Express was seen as a technological marvel of its time, and it played a key role in connecting the eastern and western United States during a period of rapid expansion and settlement. However, the service was ultimately made obsolete by the telegraph, which could transmit messages much faster and more reliably. Despite its short lifespan, the Pony Express remains a legendary part of American history, and it is celebrated in popular culture to this day. In 1882, American outlaw Jesse James was shot and killed by Robert Ford, a member of his own gang. Jesse James was a notorious figure in the American West, known for his daring train and bank robberies and for his exploits as a Confederate guerrilla during the Civil War. However, by 1882, he had become increasingly paranoid and had grown suspicious of his own gang members. Robert Ford, who idolized James but had grown tired of his erratic behavior, saw an opportunity to make a name for himself by betraying his leader. On April 3, 1882, while James was straightening a picture on the wall, Ford shot him in the back of the head. The killing was controversial, as many saw it as an act of cowardice and betrayal. Nevertheless, Ford became a celebrity in his own right, and he later went on tour with a reenactment of the shooting. James, meanwhile, became a legendary figure in American folklore, and his life has been the subject of countless books, movies, and TV shows. In 1922, Joseph Stalin became the general secretary of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. Stalin had been a prominent member of the party for many years and had played a key role in the Russian Revolution and the establishment of the Soviet state. As general secretary, Stalin was responsible for managing the party's day-to-day -day affairs and for overseeing its vast bureaucracy. Over time, he consolidated his power and emerged as the de facto leader of the Soviet Union, despite initially being seen as a relatively minor figure compared to other prominent Bolsheviks like Leon Trotsky. Stalin's leadership was marked by a ruthless focus on industrialization and collectivization, which led to widespread famine and the deaths of millions of people. Despite his brutal tactics, Stalin remains a controversial figure to this day, and his legacy continues to be debated by historians and political theorists.